Hey race fans, Sean Hartwig here again. Today I thought I'd do a little video on uh, another system that I have from Hobby Wing. Thank you Hobby Wing for uh, this great product. Uh, today I'm going to do a short video on the Z-Run uh, 1S. Now the part number on this is the Z-Run 120A-1S Blue. Uh, 1S meaning that uh, you can actually run the speed controller uh, with a one cell LiPo battery if you choose. Uh, for me, I'm going to be running it with a two cell LiPo, uh, 5300 milliamp with a 7.4 voltage. This is a 30C battery that I'll be running this with. Now, on the uh, back side of the box, you're going to note that there are icons again. Uh, you've got dual direction running, uh, which means the motor runs forward or backwards. You've got li lithium battery supported or LiPo battery, which is again what I'm going to be running. You've got low voltage protection. Again, low voltage protection for LiPo batteries is crucial. You do not want to over discharge your battery. You've also got overheat protection. Again, a nice feature uh, if you're going to run timing or boost or gear the crap out of it or uh, even running it outdoor on a really hot day if the motor overheats this thing will shut off so it'll be protected. USB supported uh, through the 2-in-1 professional program box you are able to actually download updated software or firmware for the speed controller and it is program box supported as well. Uh, this system actually is meant for 110 scale or 112th scale on or off-road vehicles and it is a brushless speed controller again it has the anti-counterfeit logo on it so you know that you've made a good investment again if you have any troubles and you don't have this type of uh, logo on it you may have got a counterfeit product again if it is counterfeit then you will not be able to take advantage of the extended warranty that uh, Hobby Wing runs which is actually 180 days which is twice as long as it used to be up from 90 days so the box again uh, gives you a picture of what the speed controller looks like if you pay attention to it there are no wires on it so when you open up the box you're gonna get your speed controller you're also gonna get your sensor wire you've got some heat shrink and some double-sided tape to mount it again they give you some cable ties for your wire management you get your sticker sheet as well so you can decorate your ride afterwards uh, I'm gonna be pairing this with the uh, Z run 13.5 turn blue brushless motor um, again any counterfeit logos on the box I've already taken everything out because I've already done the assembly on it just to give you guys an idea of what the finished product is going to look like uh, you have the speed controller with your on off wire you've got the spot for where your sensor wire is going to go into it I've already mounted the heat sink onto it when you get it there are no wires attached to it no soldering done whatsoever, no heat sink, no fan. You do have to do the assembly, so I hope you don't mind doing soldering. I went ahead and already attached all my wires and heat shrunk heat shrinked it on uh, and attached the fan. I've even connected it to the motor as well. What's different about this particular motor, the 13.5 brushless, um, is that it has these nice little bullets on it. Now when you get your motor, these little bullets are actually going to be on your posts already. Just remove them and do your solder job so that you attach it. Uh, same as the last motor that I outlined on my, uh, my previous videos. The speed controllers tell you what colors are what. So you've got A as blue, you've got B as yellow, C as orange. That corresponds with your brushless motor, A, B, and C. If you're going to run it as a censored motor with the sensor wire between the motor and the speed controller, you must have this in the same proper orientation. Uh, if you're not going to run the censored motor or the sensor wire, then you can put them in any direction that you want. It's not going to matter. If it turns out that you go to run your car forwards and it's not going forward, just take any two of the wires and actually reverse them and then you'll be able to run it. Uh, I'm going to be setting this up to run with the censored wire uh, to do some indoor off-road racing at a track in uh, Barrie. Now, uh, this is a pretty decent little unit. I'm looking forward to uh, running this. What I'm going to be installing this unit in is my Caster 1 10th scale uh, S10B, which is a four-wheel drive uh, buggy. You can run this car either outdoor or in this case I'm going to be running it indoor at a carpet track that actually has some jumps so I'm actually excited about that for this weekend. Now I thought for fun again I would energize the uh, system and run through the program box for you. Uh, you turn your motor on 
I'm going to plug it into the program box and then go through some of the functions on it for you. All right, so tells you what system it is. Um, Hobby Wing. So you hit your item button and it says connecting. Now it comes up in mode zero, which is car mode. The running mode already set is forward with brake, which is your standard race mode. You can hit your value button to go through, and if you're just going to screw around in the backyard and you need reverse, then you can run forward, reverse, or brake, or forward with reverse. I don't think I'd run that, because if you accidentally hit backwards while you're going forward, you could strip some gears. Uh, so for forward and brake, I'm going to hit the OK button, which is going to save the data. <clears throat> Next is going to be your drag brake force. Um, because I'm going to be doing some jumps, I'm actually going to cycle through this menu and take it down to uh, zero degree drag brake and hit OK to program that. Um, next item is going to be your voltage cell protection. It's already come at 3 volts, but that's a little low for my liking. I'm going to take it to 3.4 volts per cell for my protection. Then you've got your DRRS or punch level. Um, this is also known as your start mode. Obviously, one being the softest start, nine being the fastest, most aggressive start. I'm going to leave it at six and actually try it out and see how it goes from there. If I don't like it, I can knock it back a few uh, punches if I want. Uh, then you've got brag brake force at 75%. Um, that's pretty high. I think I might actually uh, take this down to 50% and give that a shot. Um, next item on the menu is reverse force. I'm not going to have reverse force, but I'm going to leave it there anyways. I don't think I need to change it. Your initial break. They, uh, the factory has it at 0%, so I think I'm going to make that a change and put that to initial break being drag break. And then I'll save that. Next item up is your neutral range at 6%. That's your factory setting. I'll leave that B. Now, you've also got boost timing at uh, seven per, uh, sorry, level 7, and according to the sheet, number 7 on the uh, boost timing is actually going to calculate out to uh, 18 degrees. Um, I'm thinking that's a bit high. I might knock that back down to number 5 and take it to 15 degrees. And I'll save that. Again, this is all stuff you can customize and tailor to your liking later. Uh, overheat protection is enabled. I'll leave that alone because I want to make sure that we have that protection. You've got turbo level of uh, number four, which um, is supposed to be three degrees. Um, I'll leave that alone and give that a try just to see how that works out this weekend when I go racing in Barrie. Uh, starting RPM for it is 15,000 RPM. You can go through and take it 3,000, 4,500, 6,000, 75, 9, 10,500, 12,000, 13,500, and then 15. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't think I'll actually hit the full 15,000 RPM, so it probably won't initialize on the track that I'll be at, but I'll leave it be. Uh, turbo delay is 0.4 of a second. That's a factory setting. I'll leave that alone. Timing punch, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, set at number six or minus six. Um, again, I'll, I'll leave that alone and uh, give that a try and see how that works out. I may knock it back later, but we'll see how it goes. Or I can go to restore, restore default. So that's the menu for the um, 120A 1S Blue Speed Controller. <clears throat> Should be an interesting little animal. I'm looking forward to running it in my car, actually. Uh, this is rated uh, at 120 amps. You've got um, 1 tenth or 1 twelve on-road or off-road car competition, or even 1 eighth and 1 tenth rock crawler. Um, you can run it censored or uncensored. This particular motor I'm going to run with it is a 13.5 turn. Um, you've also got uh, the capability of running three to six cells nickel metal hydride or one to two cells lipo. Uh, what I should mention is when I first got it, there was a yellow label actually that I don't seem to have on my bench here that was attached to the red wire here and it said do not use three cell lipo. 
three cell lipo prohibited you don't want to melt the uh, circuitry inside of your speed controller so once again Sean Hartwig from uh, Hobby Wing North America I'm a team driver out of Ontario Canada uh, I look forward to testing this system out this weekend at a race uh, at a place called uh, Northern RC which is up in Barrie Ontario um, so again a big thank you to uh, Hobby Wing North America for the opportunity to represent them a uh, big thank you out to Castor Canada as well for uh, the great vehicles that I get to drive from them um, the next video you'll see for this will actually be the system installed uh, in my car and ready to go so thanks again uh, I appreciate you watching the video once again I should uh, give you some email information here for business you can go to sales at hobbywing.com you've got a website of www.hobbywing.com technical support is help at hobbywing.com or you can visit the www.falconsakito.com for more product information so once again thanks for watching my name is Sean Hartwig I'm a team driver out of Ontario Canada remember everybody race smarter not harder